I gotta figure out what view I need. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good. Good. Thank you for joining us tonight. We're really excited because we're going to be doing, hopefully, this starfish is the one that you are going to be making. <laughs> um, just, we're just going to wait a little bit just to see if anybody else um, comes on and I can admit them. Uh, but I did want to just let you know that in the meantime, if you would like to get like paper towels, um, uh, either like a paper plate or something to mix because we're going to be sponging. So you should have something that you can use to sponge with. Um, if you have baby wipes, they are wonderful to um, wipe your hands off with. Or if you don't like something that's on the gourd, because we are using the paint, you can wipe it down. Uh, if you and if you want to go ahead and get any of that stuff together, you can go ahead and do that. Um, the other thing too oh, is for us if you keep it's very helpful for us if you turn off your audio and just turn it on if you have a question. Or um, also you can also put it in the chat. And we'll be checking the chat and, and answering questions on that too. So the audio, if you can leave that off, that would be great. Um, but if you can leave your video on, um, that would be wonderful too, only because that allows us to see how fast you guys are progressing um, and lets us know if we need to either speed up or slow down a little bit. So any questions before we get started? I think everybody's in. Let me just double check here and then. Okay, I think everybody's here. Okay, so my name is Dory and I am the retail manager. You probably have gotten lots of emails from me. Uh, if you have questions or anything, I'm normally the one that they send, send you to. I will, um, I've been with the company for 28 years. So I've been here from the very beginning and uh, I've done lots of different things throughout the years, but I've ended up in retail. And this is Amber. Yeah, so I have been with the company um, since 2017. I started on the farm crew, which we can get into a little bit later if you don't know what that is. Uh, I started part-time with that because farm crew is seasonal. And then I started full-time in production in 2019. So I'm loving it. And I also teach the classes. Um, I do tours sometimes at the farm. And I am what we call a gourd beautician. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so, so um, I think we can go ahead and get started. And I can go over all of your parts to make sure that is all there. Okay. <laughs> so you can have your gourd, of course, and on your gourd, it has a little um, rubber band that is just so your starfish stays into your, your gourd and it didn't fall out in the, in the shipping process. So you can go ahead and take that rubber band off. You do not need it on there. And then just lay your starfish right out in front of it. You should have a sponge, a paintbrush, two Q-tips. You should have a glue container, which is by itself. And then you should have all of your paints. Just remember that this single white container is your glue, <laughs> not the one that's in with all your paints. So single container is your glue. And then you should have these, um, what we call our coastal beads that's attached to this. It's a wire and beads with the string. And you should have your little light, your plug-in light here. And I think that's everything besides the stuff that we had you guys get in the beginning. I have one question. On your screen, are we big or are we a little tiny block? Big. Big? Okay, good. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, so first thing that I want us to do is we're going to take our sponge and we're going to completely get this sponge wet. That is going to help us get this really cool um, sponge effect on it. 
and it just helps the paint to go on a lot faster. So you wanna just dip that uh, sponge into your water um, and just really soak it. You wanna make it, the sponge is kind of a little bit hard. I don't know if you can feel that. You want it so it's completely soft. Um, so I would like squeeze it a little bit in your water just so that the water gets good and into all of the crevices of the sponge. So the sponge gets super, super soft. And then you'll pull it out and you're going to wring it out like a towel. And then we can go ahead and use it. So ultimately it's just kind of damp. Um, you don't want it to be dripping wet. Okay, so now that we got our sponge good and ready, you wanna find the side of your sponge that looks the best and when I make what I mean by that is it has like a lot of holes on the side unless you have one like Dory has here this one has a lot of that like frilly um fluffy stuff that is like a really good side mine does not and that's okay if yours doesn't either that's totally fine you'll still get this really cool effect um so as long as it has like a whole bunch of these little holes that's the side you want to use rather than a side like this that is very kind of a little too chunky, you want them a lot more. Okay. Now what I'll say too is I have found that if there's no side of the sponge that is super holy, if you take your scissors at home and cut some holes into the sponge, that would help as well, just so that you get this really, really cool effect with the sponge. So the first thing that I want us to um, start sponging is our little starfish. Just because this is a lighter color, as you can see, than this board here, I don't want to get any of this greenish blue color onto that starfish. So let's go ahead and do that one first. So you're gonna wanna get your sand color out, which is the tannish color. Mine is at the very um, end of the paint in the row. Um, and then I would take your paintbrush and uh, get some of that paint out onto your plate. I would not get a whole lot out, just a little bit and like spread it all over the plate just a little bit. I'll show you here. Just like that, so that you can stick your sponge right in that paint. So you'll just dab some of that paint on. And then I like to dab around just like this, that way, the paint is not lobby on um, your sponge. That way it has a really good single layer. And then you'll just take your starfish and tap it right onto that starfish. Now, what I will say is if you would prefer your starfish to be a flat sand color, so this tan color rather than it sponged, you're more than welcome to just go ahead and take your paintbrush and spun and, and brush. Yeah. yeah. Just and I'm not doing mine real heavy just so that I because I like to see the gourd um, mm -hmm. come through a little bit. Yeah. So I'm not going to do mine real, real um, heavy. Yeah. when I do that. Yeah. It just all depends on how much you want it covered and Okay. Now, the next thing we'll do is we'll sponge this piece. So you do not have to clean your sponge out. Um all you'll need to do is empty out one of your containers. The green? Yes. Blue, green. We you call can... it sea foam. Yes. <laughs> it's a very pretty color. I love it. But yeah, you want to completely empty out that container. Just one of them. And then if you need the second one, you're more than welcome to empty that out as well. This paint actually goes a long way, so mm -hmm. it's very, very nice. So you don't have to wet your sponge again. You can just go ahead and dab your sponge into that paint and start sponging away. 
on this piece here. And I'm holding it with my hand in the very bottom and I spread my fingers out and that gives it a good stability for me to go ahead and sponge it. Okay, is there a, a, a best place to start when you're sponging? I like to start in the front at the starfish to cut out just because that's where most of your paint is going to be on your sponge. Um, and then working my way around that cutout first. Um, I just like to do that just because I feel like that is the, the side that you're gonna see the most. And I feel like that's where, since your sponge is um, fresh, that's where you're gonna get most of your vibrant colors. Okay. And the sponge, um, you just tap it. You wanna make sure that you just tap and pull up and not brush it onto your board. You don't wanna really slide your sponge because you will um, make streaks on your board and that's not that's not really the technique that we're trying to go for. Now, with that being said, if you do not want a sponge, you can also paint yes. um, your, the body of your starfish. You can paint yes. that um, completely solid if you don't want the sponge look. Yes, absolutely. So while, before that paint actually gets dry, I want you to take your white paint and um, put it on your plate so that we can get that, um, like a little bit of a different color onto that, where the white will mix in with the seafoam green a little bit. It gives it like a really, really cool, cool look to it. It'll actually like almost look like you have two different colors of green. So like yeah. I have green on most of my plate, but I'm going to put the white like kind of over to the side so I can still grab the dark green if I want. Yes. And again, you do not have to wash your um, sponge out. Just keep using the same. So what I did is I dip like the edge of my uh, sponge into that white paint and then I dab it into that seafoam green color. And then I'm gonna go back through and sponge that color on. Has everybody sponged before? Just raise your hand if you have. Okay, so, so, so this is a new technique for some of you. Yeah, I love this technique. I like it because you can't go wrong. There's nothing you can do that's going to mess it up because if you don't like it, you just keep sponging. <laughs> yes. Yep. So if it gets to be too white or too green, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. can just let it dry and sponge that specific color over top that you really, really want on it. It's very, very easy. Very nice. I was looking to see if anybody, I know we always, I mean, we, we always send along the paints and everything to do the project as we show it, but sometimes it's, it's neat to see because other people will put, bring in different colors or something, you know, that'll match like their decor or something. And it just uh, is neat to see it in a different color. Yeah. So you just sponge away until you get it to look like you want it. <clears throat> I'm going to flip mine upside down so I can get the bottom. <laughs> Look at everybody sponging. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sponge away. I like it because I got some of that sand color in mine. Oh, so you even have a little. Mm -hmm. I really like it a lot. Do 
we need to do inside that at all. Yes. Okay, so do you think we should paint that? Yeah, the let's green. do that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the inside of your sand, no, it's not a sand dollar, <laughs> starfish. Yeah. Um, just take the green on your brush and just go right around that, just so when you put your star, the starfish back in, it's you're not just going to see plain uh, gourd. Right. It'll be, it'll look more complete. And that'll dry relatively fast. You don't have to, you know, yeah. it doesn't, because it's just on that inside thing or inside a lip. You got everybody. I did have someone text me and said they didn't get the link. Mm -hmm. I sent them the link, so hopefully they got one. Yeah. Okay. I think I am gonna flip mine upside down too. Really. Yeah, because I couldn't get the I couldn't get the bottom. Yeah, like I got it pretty good, but I'm just gonna get it a little bit better. I can just put a couple dots of the dark stuff on. Mm -hmm. No, I think I'm really, I don't know. I really like it. We have to um, do the stem, or is that just a preference? It is a preference. Okay. I personally think by doing the stem, it makes the, the piece look a little bit more complete. But at the same sense, too, I could see um, the other way of you can, it looks like an actual, like, natural gourd. Um, if It just depends. So, like, if you are sponging your piece and a lot of that natural gourd is coming through and it's not, like, completely covered and you want that stem to be completely mm. natural, I could see that. Um, so, yeah, it's just a preference thing. Okay. So while you guys are sponging away, I just wanted to tell you a little bit. I always give you an update of what's going on at the farm. So our gourds are in the ground and we have been, I don't know where everybody's, you know, here from, but Pennsylvania has been very, very dry. We finally got some rain yesterday, but we still need more. So we've had to irrigate a lot of our gourds to make sure that they don't die because that's never a good thing if we have gourds die on us. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so they are in the ground being irrigated right now. And hopefully, um, I heard we're supposed to maybe get some more rain this at the end of the week here so i am hoping that we do get that rain um other than that um we just got done oh we have our um for those of you that are a little closer we do have our summer celebration coming up which is july 15th and that's the next big thing and that'll be here before we know it i can hardly believe that we are in june already I think yeah. time is flying. I agree. So um, I don't know if you guys have seen, this is gonna be the next class that comes up and this is in August. It is, um, it is a sunflower, it's a miniature sunflower and it has a wood biscuit with a hole in the bottom which the, the hole is what sits over top of the tea light and registration uh, just opened for that. So if you're interested in doing that, it is August 15th and that one is $35 to do. So that's the next Zoom class. Um, oh, I'm trying to think in July, what are we doing in July? Oh, I know it's the Garden Friends and that one has sold out. Yeah, that's the three little, the, uh, the fairy, the gnome and the little mushroom man. I call him Matt. <laughs>
No. So my big piece is all finished. And what I'm doing is I want to change up my starfish a little bit. I think it looks a little bit too plain. So I'm going to give you guys this option. So I'm going to take my sponge <laughs> and some of the, the white paint. I'm going to dip my sponge into the wet or white paint. And I'm actually going to um, put some white in it and see what that looks like. And yes, I did wash my sponge. For sure. Because we don't want green. No. My water's all green now. <laughs> no. Mine was too. So I just like got it as good as I could. There we go. I think it's good now. And then I think I am going to add some more sand back on. So just changing up the starfish just a little bit, just because of preference. <laughs> Like, I, I used all almost all my white. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you get going on it. It's it does take. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I like it. I will take one of those too, please. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. How's everybody else doing? Doing good. Thumbs up. Good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got a new table to do our classes on. And before we did our first class, I decided that uh, I thought we were probably gonna need uh, like a plastic cover on it, a clear plastic cover. And it's a good thing because it has like all different colors all over it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do wanna add too with your little starfish, you do not have to paint the edges just cause that's gonna get glued right into that Gordon. You won't see it. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to move this out of the way since we already know what we're doing here. Yeah. Just giving you guys just a little bit. I see some of you still sponging away. Yeah. And then we'll, we'll go on to our next step here. I'm trying to see, I, I recognize some names, Karen, I recognize your name. <laughs> um, is this anybody's first time? No, everybody else has done a good, good. Well, welcome back. <laughs> okay. Just getting a little, yeah. Off. Giving them a little bit, a little bit longer. Our next step is going to be gluing in that starfish. So you'll need a Q-tip and your glue. And of course, your all of your pieces of your gourd, which should only be two. Are we done with our paints? Yes, we'll be all done with our paints. My starfish or my it's still, I like sponged it and now I have oh. like globby glues on or globby paint on it. Yeah. Luckily with it being sponged, if it is, if your piece is still a little bit wet, it's easy to fix. <laughs> yes. All right. All right, so I'll go ahead and explain how we glue this starfish in. So you'll just open your glue 
And then all you're gonna do is you'll dip your Q-tip into your paint or your glue, I should say, not your paint. And then I'm just gonna run this glue and the inside cut out of the gourd. Um, you do not have to do the whole way around. I would just make sure that you have at least some type of glue in every um, little flat area. Yeah. Or little arm. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what you, I guess that would be considered an arm. Yeah. An arm bitch. We're going to call it an arm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And don't worry about having too much glue just because um, it's going to dry clear. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, when you go to glue your starfish in, if you flip the starfish over, there is going to be a pencil mark on um, some part of the, the starfish. That pencil mark just um, signifies that that part goes on the bottom and that will help you to put it back in. So my starfish line is right here and that is going to go right over here, just like that. And then you just press it in and that's all you'll need to do. And that's all we need the glue for. Do not worry too much if the glue does get on the gourd because it does um, dry clear. Yes. So. Yep. So cute. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then our last step that we need to do is putting this little, um, the beads onto your piece. So it doesn't matter what side the beads hang on. I like to hold the actual beads themselves in my left hand. And then I take um, a little over halfway um, over the stem and then I wrap it. Uh, it depends on how long or short you want it, but I, I'm just going to wrap mine once mm -hmm. and then I just tie it. Just one knot and that's it. And that's, that's all we do. We just tie it tight and let them hang. And that's, that's it. And it's funny because I like my, I always put my beads on the other side. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I put them in my right hand, which means they end up on the left hand side and then vice versa. Yeah. So this was a relatively um, quick class, but for those of you who have never sponged, it gives you a really good idea of how to get a textured look with the sponge um, by just putting two different colors together. Some people can put, they'll put, you know, three or four colors together. And a lot of times, as long as they're complementary, they will just kind of blend together and give you a whole textured um, look. So this is how we do all of our uh, coastal lines, um, just by um, doing two or three colors together yep. to um, bring out that textured look. Hmm. Is there any questions about, the, about what we've done, about sponging, about Meadowbrook or anything that's going on? Hi, it's Karen. Are you going to be doing Zoom classes every month? Is that how you're, you're planned or every six yeah, weeks? Yeah, we're going to do at least one Zoom class every month. Okay, because I'm looking forward to fall. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, the first one is going to be the sunflower because we kind of consider that fall because we have sun, we plant our sunflowers to come up in the fall. But yes, we'll be doing a Zoom class every every month. And you can count on me and Lisa. <laughs> okay, then we'll see you every time. Yep. I see us too. So <laughs> once in a while, I'm not able to be here, but so. Okay. Any any questions or any problems putting on your your sea glass? Well, great. Okay. Well, if nobody has any questions. 
Um, or if you think of one later, please, again, my name is Dory. I'm going to be sending out the recording um, tomorrow after probably afternoon. But if you have any questions between now and then, or you wait till you get the, the video and then you're like, well, I had another question and it, it doesn't have to necessarily be just about the class. It can be about anything. Please email me and uh, let me know. I will get back to you. I do have a question. We don't need to glue the base. We just set it right on there once it's dry. Set it right on there. Right. Don't glue it because that's how you change your light bulb. Okay. Makes sense. <laughs> if you glue it, you'll never be able to change it. But uh, no, that's and that's everything then. Okay. Well, hopefully this got you in the summer mood. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you um, later on. And like I said, don't forget the sunflower class and then keep a lookout for the classes coming this fall and winter. Have a nice evening. Look.